it was a highly planned killing and highly well planned, well organized killing. This is not only the bloggers uh, are the target of this uh, violent extreme group. We said that target is uh, against this country and against secularism, against the uh, nature of this state. I've come to meet Zulasa's older brother, Minaz. This is where he lives. It's never really easy intruding upon a family still in grief and still, frankly, uh, yet to get over the shock. And in fact, Minaz hasn't spoken to anyone else, uh, no media. But he's told us he's really keen on speaking to us. People may think differently. We have to respect that. Anybody has the right to say something differently. Anybody has the right to put his opinion on a different uh, manner. But for this, you can protest. For this, you can argue. For this, you can even uh, bargain. But I don't think you can kill him. This is the secret location in which Bangladesh's most famous blogger is living these days, in hiding. It's BBC. Oh, hello. hello. Hi. Thanks. Uh, almost every day uh, in my inbox or in the status they mention, uh, you will be prepared, we will slaughter you. I'm not frightened for myself not for my individual security, but I'm very frightened for my country, for my national security. To our knowledge, as such today, IS has not been involved in the recruitment policy, recruitment of militants, or any military activities within the boundary of Bangladesh. This is a competing ground between Al-Qaeda and IS. We have 90% Muslims concentrated in small little place. And they are highly educated people who are unemployed. Uh, the youth uh, have no way to go. So we are, as a South Asian, in danger of this sort of organization which are putting their footsteps in these countries. Mm -hmm. 